So Eddingsville, we like to call the Low Country Atlantis. Eddingsville Beach, as we know it today, is the shoreline just south of us. But if you look in the history books, Eddingsville of the 1800s is three quarters of a mile out underneath the ocean. 200 years ago, it was part of our shoreline, a small barrier island similar to Sullivan's Island, Folly Beach, or many of the islands down near Edisto. Wealthy plantation families started settling in Eddingsville in the early 1800s, crossing a lone oyster shell causeway to get onto the island with all of their belongings for a summer away from the heat and mosquitoes further inland. It grew in popularity through the 19th century, with roughly 50 houses as Everson Murray, one of the community's last residents, recalled in his memoir years later. Life on Eddingsville was ideal. Behind the big white sand dunes was the house lots, shaded by oaks and cedars. Most of these buildings were substantial two-story structures with wide verandas facing the ocean. Unfortunately, however, Eddingsville was too good to last. 